Hey guys, my name's Rondo and this is my 1991 Toyota Lydase from Japan. It's a JDM vehicle, Japanese domestic market is what that means. Uh, it was never released in the States. So it's right side drive, it's a 2 liter turbo diesel. This is an automatic um, and it's got high range and low range four wheel drive with manual locking hubs. So if you look down at the wheel, it's a manual locker rather than automatic locker. Uh, it's a bit more sturdy and saves you gas mileage. Well, diesel mileage, I should say. And uh, the thing gets about 30 miles to the gallon on average. People claim up to 35, 36. So quite an efficient little guy. It's seven and a quarter inches off of the ground. If you look underneath, there's not really much rest at all. Just a little, couple little surface uh, pits that I've covered up pretty well. and. Um, this thing would do pretty well with uh, about an inch and a half lift and some bigger tires. Do really well off-road. As is, it'll do great in ice and snow. I'll give it a little fire up for you. This thing's had an entire top end seal kit, meaning back of camshaft, the valve cover gasket, and head gasket, etc., etc., have all been changed out. She purrs like a kitten. Everything's sealed up real nicely from the intake all the way through the exhaust. No leaks. It's got 113,000 miles on it, so it's pretty low uh, for the states, that's for sure. Um, and these diesels will run till 350,000 miles, no problem at all. Give it a little grab up. She's got a nice little whistle to her. The turbo is pretty small, but you can definitely feel it. It doesn't exactly put your neck into the seat, but uh, it feels pretty good. You're not going to be taking her down the drag strip anytime soon, but uh, she'll crawl up some hills, that's for sure. Let's come back here, we'll just take a look in the back real quick. Uh, this back hatch is pretty nice. If you ever go mountain biking or need to load any gear in here, the seats fold down quite easily. And uh, when they fold up and get out of the way, pretty easy to load whatever you need to here in the back. It's quite wide open. Uh, this other seat folds right up as well. And the seat in there actually rotates 270 degrees. So if you fold these guys forward, rotate, boom. Folds like that, locks in. Same thing when they come forward. They rotate, boom. And you can actually face back as well, which is pretty rad. You won't see that in any domestic vehicles. So, uh, and it's cool because there's seat belts in every direction as well. So it doesn't matter where you're sitting, you're still, you can still be buckled in. Uh, if you look up top, with, there's pop top skylights on the front four and the back two are fixed. But uh, when you set this thing up as a bed, meaning this seat is facing sideways, you put your head there. You can see out, do a little stargaze, stargazing at night. Um, it's a pretty cool setup. If you stay right there, I'll show you the uh, automatic curtains. It's pretty cool. You'd think these are just manual, but for some reason, they wanted a little extra convenience. So if I flip the key on here, and I hit this guy, kaboom. Funny, automatic curtains, there you go. The seats have to be situated just right, but they work. <laughs> so I'll show you the engine bay compartment. I'm pretty proud of it. It's right over here on the passenger side. <clears throat> There's three latches. One is right here next to the driver. The driver's seat has to be as far forward as it'll go. Leaned up. Flip all these latches as you pop this guy back. There we go. Pulling that. Has this little strap on the side here. And take a look in there. She looks pretty good, nice and shined up. Like I said, there's no leaks. Uh, timing belt was done as well with the water pump and all the tensioners, um, all the injectors were cleaned. 
the glow plugs were also replaced. It's had a full coolant system pressure check and um, she's ready for the road for sure. All the filters and fluids have been changed out as well. Just about as fresh as she can be. And she's got a CD player and a tape player retro style it's a six cd changer pretty cool it all works uh, you might want to change the speakers out but uh, they work for now if you look up top this thing right here uh, it's a tiltometer. Uh, pretty cool so you can see the level of the vehicle left to right in front to rear um, and the clock's still set to nagoya time at the moment but uh yeah that's about it so here it is the 1991 toyota light ace two liter turbo diesel. Uh, I've got it listed for 13,000. So give me a call and we'll go for a test drive. Thanks guys.